Hello everyone to another um, Hitman Gauntlet match between the one and only Yanini and the Observer. Um, starting off with a round of a non lockout bingo on Santa Fortuna, followed by at least um, a round of bonus roulette afterwards and a season any percent race if one player is at three uh, at a score of three zero after that we will end the match right there otherwise we will continue on with improv roulette and sasa roulette to um to get our our winner here um yeah round one non lockout bingo arriving in just under a minute um, the rules of bingo are simple. We will be given a bingo board in about 30 seconds with 25 tiles. The players need to um, claim two lines that is horizontally, uh, vertically or diagonally um, in order to and exit the mission successfully with a sudden assassin rating uh, to win the um, match the map and um, yeah players can claim the same tiles and let's see what our board will be I won't read it up entirely um, we I can also see that one tile is a bit cut off but it is uh, I think it says destroy Jorge's flower sample Manually, probably, is what it says or something. Um, but I think players will figure that out as, as well. We can see Yanni loading in straight away. Uh, while Observer is planning a bit more, which is a recurring theme in uh, not lockout bingo, I think. Because you can't just, like, claim tiles um, as you... You please like you can't just claim any old tile well you can but you you gotta like have a route or something um players you tend to plan a bit more um before starting their first run you can see yanni here starting at the hotel getting uh bohemian straight away hippie bohemian i'm not sure what he's called on this map to be fair one of those uh, while Observer starts at the um, the Sheik Hut it's the hippie as we can see Yanni has claimed that tile um, so I'm gonna we're, we can wonder which direction on the board he's gonna go from there oh and he's <laughs> Collect the truck key, done by the observer here. Wonder where he he will go. Become a street soldier uh, and become a the hippie again. Hells are those gauntlet holding readying? Well, good question. We wonder as well. You can see Yanni sticking with this route. Last time he got ripped by this camera right here. It's gonna be a bit more careful of that this time. Shooting it even. A bit more game audio. Surely that is doable. Um. Just have to figure out how to turn Yanni in this case a bit louder. He's already on maximum here, but I can crank it up here a little bit. No, oh, wait, that is that is not what I want to turn. Professional streamer, by the way. Damn, you throw like 
something like this. I hope this is better. Let's see if Yanni can pull it off this time. Last time he got ripped multiple times right here. Uh, clicks his gun to get Andrea interested and get her out here. Very interesting. Meanwhile, Observer got her in the um, in the office downstairs. Observer also just took out the cameras. Observer is grabbing himself the band member, so we can only assume he's going for that top row right now. Um, already has two tiles there, and I assume the one straight down uh, as well. Does Yanni have a weird echo? Hold up, I can maybe change something about that. Maybe it's better now. I can only hope. Uh, if you can hear Yanni at all right now, but I think you should be able to. And Yanni not claim the tile. Is it lockout after all? Hmm. That is an interesting question. It should be, it says non-lockout, or like, uh, it was said to be non-lockout. Mm. Hmm. says he can't click the same tiles, no. That is an issue indeed. Um, hmm, hold up. I am investigating. Uh, <laughs> in the meantime as well, because I do have an... Uh, idea as well it might just be a visual bug right now um that is screwing us over right now i hope we can get through this um uh through this round just fine without uh, with it um but for now we should be good observer taking a bit of a weird uh, approach to the tiles that he's claimed so far. Um, he got two in the in the first row and um, one in the bottom left corner and one in like the middle left. Not sure um, what his plan is. Sense of completing those lines. Hey, 
server became submarine crew. So that top row getting more and more um, appealing for him. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Yanni inside the mansion as a gardener right now. And uh, clearing out Rico's office. Maybe he wants to get the kill right here, right now. Becoming a mansion guard. Uh, not sure if that is a tile, but allows him a bit more free access. Collecting the submarine blueprints. Um... And is turning on three sinks. So that is another claimed tile for him. Let me just try something. Ha! There we have it. It is a visual bug overall. I can advertise everybody to reload their page quickly um, to have the triangle your things. All right, it is indeed. Uh, Non-lockout uh, was issue on my side. Anyways, we are back. Um, yeah, Yanni still needs to, or like, needs to reclaim his uh, become a street soldier. Um, that was the tile that we reported to. Well, not have worked earlier. Uh, I'm not sure if the players are getting the message that they can or should refresh the page, but uh, I mean, as long as the match admin currently can um, can see what's going on, that's the most important part. Mm. There I can't find a bone right now. That's is those are those is those hold up. Oh, collect two meaty bones. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he might be looking for those. That would complete the first row for him. <clears throat> um, what makes absolute sense. Um, and I'm still very curious on what the second row, column, or diagonal Observer is going to choose, yeah, got the bottom right, become an elite guard, and also the, the middle left, become a street soldier. Um, so, yeah, curious what he will go for. Uh, he has two screwdrivers, th though, and collecting three of those is also a tile, so... That would neatly tie in with the uh, rightmost column for Observer. Um, has three crowbars, which I don't think is a tile right now. Yanni has become a coca field worker. Also want to mention again, Yanni has become a street soldier already. Just a visual bug, uh, or the the result of a visual bug that we can't see that right now. Um, but he needs to, on one side, take out Jorge Franco, still as it's his last target. On the other side, examine the notes, which he just did, and destroying the flower sample. Uh, which is clipping a bit. Observer. Missing a meaty bone. Turning on the Vanishes photocopier, which is inside the mansion still. Becoming the hippie, which he is on his path right now, but is also missing two kills still. 
so a bit more behind. Yanni is hesitating. Oh, he did. He did uh, already get the flower sample. I didn't even, like, I, I looked away for a second and he must have done it th during that time. Um, just needs the kill on Ho. He probably looked up the location of this propane right now. He did uh, buy a uh, um, drive by Rico earlier as well. So I wonder if he's just going to do the same with Jorge here. Who, however... Nope. He's not having it. He's running away on the other side. Observer missing one meaty bone and the photocopier and two kills versus Yanni's last kill. A lot of guards around Kohe for Yanni right now. He wanted to drive by him earlier, just dropping the propane, shooting it, turning it into an accidental kill. However, right now there's too many other um, targets nearby. Uh, or not targets, but non-targets rather, guards, which makes it a bit more risky. Observer on his way entering the mansion. Uh, via the hippo area could also be his choice in terms of kill opportunity for Rico um, if he gets those meaty bones since there is one around here as well could just uh, feed the hippo and get Rico to run down here getting that one tile and um, a kill there it is, the second meaty bone. For Observer. Uh, who is now as well just one tile away. While Yanni is looking at his final kill here. He got the propra propane. Exploded it just in, in range. Knocked out the one guard. Bit of searching action going on, but green guns, no non-target kills, just the KO very close to being a non-target kill. Um, and he is running to the exit while Observer is running to the photocopy, I assume. Um, Yanni has press done, done has been accepted. And I assume the round will end in just a second and Yanni will be given his one deserved point for this. And here we are, score 1-0. Um... And we will be playing a round of bonus roulette next. Very hyped for that. Um, which is just normal roulette, but on a bonus mission. assume or I don't assume but the map is not yet known to the players uh, and neither to me it will be revealed by our match admin Mika in just a second here um, 
who is typing right now, is a first to three match for the quarterfinals of the Hitman Gauntlet tournament. A uh, player who loses this match will drop out of the tournament, while the player who goes out victorious will face another player in the semifinals. You can also pay out the predictions from earlier. Yanni did indeed win the first round. And we can already open next predictions for the second round, which is bonus roulette. Um, which is roulette on a one of the bonus missions, which do not counter the 18 main missions of the Hitman story. Um, what can include anything from the special assignments. I think the Patient Zero campaign is in there as well. Um, well, not not the Vector, but I like the, because I think that's the Sniper mission. I think the Vector is the Sniper mission. Um, Are there any? Observer, didn't see any obvious lines at the start, just want to go for the first tiles he thought of, maybe improvise the line few minutes later. That is a good possibility why Observer messed with multiple columns then later on. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. There we are, round two bonus roulette arriving in three minutes. So we have a bit of a break. And um, map has been revealed as well. It is gonna be Marrakesh, a house built on sand. Um, one of the, guess, earliest um, Main missions, uh, not main missions, but bonus missions uh, in Hitman on the third map. Marrakesh excluding the the ICA facility. Um, features two targets. I know that much about it. Uh, and as I need to showcase a single starting location, I think. Um, yeah, the two targets and the documents that need to be acquired. Welcome to Marrakech. That is Mathieu Mendoza. Yanini just going in, loading the mission, exploring a bit. Of course, no attempts from him will be uh, counted that start before the uh, before the the timer starts. Has I think secret target straight at the start and is making his way inside here with the stolen ticket. <laughs> and looks for another seeker angle here. 
Try to get locked down. Didn't quite work out. Yep, Yanni is getting shot at, but green guns, so he's fine. Anyway, he's back on the... Uh, planning screen with just 30 seconds to go. Uh, has a Seeker, a Gold Baller, and an Emetic Gas Mine, and a Briefcase. Um, in his loadout, can see Observer's loadout right now, he's paused in his menu. Now replanning as well. Looking very similar for Observer. Got a Chrome I see a 19 Chrome, a Seeker in the briefcase, in the same briefcase even, and a Crowbar. So just the kind of pistol and the Crowbar are differentiating. And we got a <laughs> spin without a time limit right now. Not entirely what we want here, but we have Kong Tu Kwang. I have no idea if I pronounced that even remotely correctly, and I'm sorry if I didn't. Eliminate using Fall as a shopkeeper and Theo Mendola with a pistol as bodyguard. Uh, and there we have our timer, which is 40 minutes instead of 45, but I'm sure that we'll, we'll get that fixed as well. Um, And Yanni's looking at mission stories. I think the, the fall might be um, well, yeah. Catching them off guard. However, uh, Seeker, the other target straight at the start, uh, same as Observer, who's already following him. Yanni looking at the mission story on top of that, uh, on that rooftop. Fall is the meeting mission story. I would assume so. They are. They do meet. M my memory of this bonus mission comes back a little bit. They do meet on that rooftop. And uh, whenever there's a rooftop, usually there's also the possibility for a fall. Um, of course, getting the, the shopkeeper up there later and everything is going to require a bit of running. A bit of back and forth, I assume. Uh, but we'll see Observer following this uh, Mathieu for a very long time now. Uh, he just can't decide where to puke, it seems. He chose the rooftop of the shop, it seems. That is very interesting. And he's starting to clear the rooftop. While Observer also up here now. With the other target. Uh, while well, Yanini, yeah, pistol in hand, bodyguard disguise acquired, is gonna go for. Um, yeah, Matthew Mandola first. While Observer has just phoned in the other target, I think. Observer getting the first kill. Pop in a, <laughs> um, a nice little challenge while doing that. We'd love to see those. Also, Yanni, pistol elimination even. Using the prompt from what I could see. And both get the bonus objective of the the tablet that they need to do, to acquire. Um, and I think Yanni is a bit 
bit confused about what to do now because the mission story the mission story um, ended because he killed one of the targets I think and yeah he's he yeah he's looking around very I guess anxious or something about the second secret spot somewhere, eh, not secret, but fall spot somewhere around here. So this could be observers to win now. He has Kuang on his way to the rooftop. And Yanini is replanning, so that's his progress gone. He got a seeker, uh, uh, not a seeker, but a, a trank gun instead of his pistol, I think. <laughs> While Observer trying to get one with some... Audio distractions. That's a big observer, uh, uh, Enforcer Rouge, but luckily not trespassing, otherwise, that would have turned into a peek pretty quickly. No close combat heard. Wow. Now, just be sure to not dump him before you got that shopkeeper's disguise. That is the last thing Observer is missing for this. Distracting the one bodyguard in here. There is a shopkeeper in here as well. Really? He's just gonna KO the shopkeeper, but that bodyguard... Yeah, okay, he's gonna throw and KO the bodyguard now as well as people... Walking by the streets outside and inside the shop. Poppin' Chameleon. Let's hope those persons outside do not see anything, actually. That is not a lethal drop from what it seems. For Observer. Just needs to find a prompt where he is unseen. Could be worth, worth clearing out the rest of the roof as well. I think that's what he's considering now as well. Yanni has just uh, <laughs> completed the mission story of getting Matthew Mandola to the rooftop. Not the target that he wants here necessarily, but the mission story does include um, Kwan getting uh, called up here. While Observer did finally get the fall prompt, has a body found, needs to escape while trespassing. However, needs to make sure that none of the other bodies are being found now. Just needs to book it to the exit of the mission. And this looks like... Observer will draw the match equal and get it to a one-to-one -one score. Very well done. There we have it. Score one-to-one. -one. Observer out after seven minutes in-game time. No restarts from him, I think. And he will take this one. Yanni stating you he followed the wrong mission story. Oh, and for this next one, I would hype myself as well. We will have a season two any percent race, uh, which means these players need to get through 
every main mission on season two any percent uh meaning no silent assassin requirement no um they can't play on casual even i think casual difficulty no requirement for the professional as we can see yani already switched and uh, i can really quickly pay out predictions which were heavily in favor of yanini but will go to the two percent that voted observer here And we will open them again for the third round. Um, we will have at least one more after this. So it will at least go uh, season any percent race. And afterwards improv royale. Um, after those two we again are at a 1 to 1 score. Or 2 to 2 score in that case. Um, we will be going to... Sasso Roulette to um, determine our winner. But for now, Yanni getting that last bit of practice in, it seems. Ooh. He tried pistol sniping Andrea at the start of Santa Fortuna, but ended up just killing the other two civilians there. Um, and Took a sniper out to snipe that shot. Also tried a concussive device to open up the door, it seems. Didn't quite work out for him. There is the snipe from Yanni on <laughs> Rico Delgado. Now only Jorge missing. However, he is in combat. Red guns does not care at all. This is still isn't. I mean, this isn't even a live round. This is just practice for Yanni. Santa Fortuna, not the the map. Um, you wanna have a lot of struggles on later on, I think. And yeah, with. 40 seconds on the clock, both players um, are ready. Casual difficulty selected for both of them, not going to make this any harder um, than it needs to be. The clock is ticking. Five, four, three, two, one. And after the Twitch delay, we will see both players starting their run. So let's see. Both even using um, or trying to use uh, Sasso strats for this. Yanni successfully. He got the two um, Trank darts out and um, went out there green guns. Observer on the other hand. Well, he got them out, but he got spawned shooting the tranks, so uh, he is red guns right now. And he dropped the concussive duck for the distraction. Observer shooting it. This is a very tight, <laughs> tight race to the exit. It's just running. Oh, Yanni body shotting one of the three guards there. While Observer is just ruining their days. Maybe also his own. Yanni will be the first one to exit. Um, Night call. And we will go to Miami. Observer following very closely. A 
Starting in the Kronstadt building. And yeah, I can only assume both players will be doing very similar things. This Yanni sniping, trying to snipe the car. There he made it. Headshotting Robert Knox, went to combat, no questions asked, grabbing the shotgun to open up the gates and will be exiting. Observer, well he doesn't have it with aiming as much, he just brought in a striker. Uh, also eliminates him needing to grab a shotgun for this. And we are here in Santa Fortuna. Yanni just practiced this minutes ago. So I wonder if that practice will pay off. But yeah, he will just take care of these two civilians, unpack his sniper, shoot Andrea, and book it to the mansion basically. Might be an... Oh no, okay. Just a long load from Observer and I thought his game might have crashed there. Oop. <laughs> Observer killed an anti... A non-target before Andrea. Oops. And still has a striker, so he can just shoot open doors with it whenever he likes to. Um, he is... Now on the mansion, getting shot at a lot though, 47, oh, and that's a death from Observer. That's the issue with any percent, uh, or with this approach it seems. If you have like, a lot of people shooting at you, that's really not good. Like, 47 can take a punch, but like, those 7 guys shooting at him, all simultaneously, is a bit too much. Yanni just shooting Jorge in the face at point blank range with his pistol. Now needs to make sure he doesn't share the same fate as Observer did, but no, he will get out of Santa Fortuna first and now has a significant lead as Observer had to restart the map once. And we'll go to Mumbai. Fourth map for Yanni, third for Observer. Out of, let me count real quick. Uh, eight or something? Technically we got the longest season because we have the add-on missions. Which, from what I remember, still count towards this, no? It is, yeah. Hawks till Haven. Yeah, that should be eight maps, I think, if I didn't miscount. Which means we'll get to say, see Haven. Yes. Happy for it. Uh, Yanni getting, yeah, a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of shots aimed at him and uh, will die. So, with Observer also just loading into Mumbai. Um, well, even out the odds a bit, but for once a bit, we'll be seeing apparently, may, like, very different strategies. As they are using different starting locations, Observer chose to snipe Vanya Shah straight from the uh, trolls, it seems. While Yane took the usual sky uh, Skywalk start and took care of the ma Maelstrom immediately. Yanni patiently waiting for Vanya to drop something on top of her head. Excellent kill. Got that one. Observer apparently using new round is faster on this, assuming he can get to the exit without dying or scaring the civilian. But no. 
Observer, first one to exit Mumbai, will take the lead onto Whittleton Creek. As Yanni shot Darwood, but didn't quite get him. We'll need to take another shot. There it is. Boat exit for him. Yanni a bit behind, but not too much. Server first on Whittleton Creek. Dig out the cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Observer really loves his striker e3. Like, I think starting in... I think starting in Miami, he always brought that with him. Got all his clues now. After checking an explosive ball at uh, the head of Nolan Cassidy and picking up the letter, uh, the lawsuit and the note box just needs Janus now. While Yanni loaded in, grabbed Janus at the start. While Yanni is doing almost what Observer did, just a tiny, teeny, tiny bit slower right now. Got Nolan with a sniper instead of an explosion. Got the first clue. Needs to run a bit for the lawsuit, the shovel, to get the third and final, uh, like, second and third clue. While Observer already loading onto Isle of Scale, last map of the non-expansion uh, second season. Afterwards, I'll have, he'll have to play uh, <laughs> Observer tried some cheeky stuff there, I think, to get down this ledge faster. It didn't work out for him. Um, and Observer is now a full map ahead of Yanni loading into New York, while Yanni is just loading into Isle of Scale now. I wonder if he does, does uses the same that uh, Observer did almost. Observer chucked an uh, explosive device down there to get the kind of an explosion done quickly. Uh, Yanni will use a golf ball here, I think, to blow open the door ahead of time. You better bring the constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. Yeah, and he's out of scale, but Observer already running on New York. Got some of the data disks, I think. Crashing the stock market, it seems. Interesting choice. I uh, did not know that that was the route. <laughs> Well, Yanni now as well on here. Observer spraying and praying a bit all over here. Grabbing the last data disks. Running for an exit. He does not have the usual on the, the uh, see your exit keycard. Can just jump through this window. I did not even know that that was an exit. Not gonna lie. But Observer makes it to the final map. Haven Island, Yanni, bit too slow, it seems. Got your orders. I expect you to carry them out, understand? Mum his Mumbai run or route, investment banker exit only. That would make sense. That's why I never knew that that was one, because I never exit in that disguise, I suppose. Uh, Yanni's 
Mumbai round, which was just a touch slower than Observer's might have been what cost him the match here. Observer snapping a bit from the start at Haven. Doesn't seem to have the angle on Tyson, is that no? Needs to restart. And this is um, very close now. Observer getting it done. While Yanni. Still running on Haven. Got the first kill. Mm, Observer mentions that there is no done button on this right now. But even with the 60 second time window, I had an eye on when Observer finished. Um. But counting from my side, um, we will see. It was seconds only between them almost a full minute but yeah as info from mentioned i went to uh, got the same times 23 uh, 32 14 time remaining at observers finish 31 26 uh remaining at yanni's finish being sorted out but technically was within one minute but Yanni is looks like he is waving his photo finish rights and it will be a win for Observer. And we will go on soon to the next um, game mode, which is Improv Roulette. I'm sure the round will end very soon and Observer will be given his um, deserved point. Indeed, score will is 1-2 to two for Observer. Observer on a match point. And we will be playing Improv Roulette in just under 3 minutes. Um, which is basically normal roulette, but... With the following restrictions, master mode, no instinct, no loadout. But any rating. And we can see <laughs> Hiani just going into settings, turning off instinct. Which is, yeah, well, a smart thing to do, definitely. And I think, yeah, we can see, okay, Observer is just unbinding it. Hiani just turned it off. I did not know it was a setting to turn off, to be fair. Um, just a button that he won't touch. Hmm. 
because yeah, uh, improv is played without instinct on master difficulty, as I've mentioned, which means uh, 47 I won't be looking through any walls today, just with the help of his minimap, and he also won't be having any, um, yeah, any any items with him, as it is no loadout indeed. will be playing in purple in just under three minutes at uh, three minutes 30 seconds if observer wins this now he will move on into bracket onto the quarter uh, semi-finals we are already in the quarterfinals which we started in um, if Yanni manages to pull it back and yeah make the match even two for two then we will be playing Sasso Roulette as our last game mode. Let's see if Observer can win it. With this spin, Sierra Nox, in Nox injected poison as Kronstadt Researcher. Robert Knox explosive weapon as Kronstadt Security. Let's see how they intend to do that. Um, there is the option i think i'm not entirely sure on the ruling here but i th to my understanding there is an option for a remote injected poison on this um i'm not sure if that th does that count as an injection the the remote injected poison for sierra if you do the the iv stand it is injection yeah that's what i remembered as well so it is technically a possibility for this um oh. yeah there is the the syringe and the car bomb and octane booster on the map obviously as it's no loadout all the these items need to be on the map um Nani wanted to open up this cabinet had to look for a key on hit maps in order to open it there is the syringe that he needs. Observer is still planning. I forgot to pay out predictions for the third round. That's a bit scuffed now. Had there's your points for the third round, and we'll do quick 30 second prediction for the fourth round. Uh, for this round now. Place your bets, everyone. Who will win this? Does Observer take it home 3 to 1 or will Yanni tie it up? And we will go to Sasso Roulette afterwards. Just a roulette, just Sana Assassin suit only. Yanni uh, wanting to grab the car bomb, it seems. Needs the uh, combination to the safe, however. As it is on that desk. Grabbed it. He has red guns, however, not an issue here. It's any rating. Not Sasso or SA required. Definitely not Sasso. Has the car bomb. So. Uh, I assume for Yanni it is for a large portion a. Well. Not plain default, but. Maybe a bit more routine roulette spin now. Went suspicious, but that's not an issue. Because you just run as fast as he can. Um, and make sure he's out of the area while they are searching for him. Okay. 
check in where Robert is. He doesn't have a silenced pistol, for example, to shoot the laptop up top, so he needs to think of something different uh, for Robert. Grabbing himself a Cronset Researcher, though, it seems. And he went into a bit of a... That's a bit of an issue. Cronset security now. Was an engineer, wasn't it? It wasn't even a researcher. He got one shot off, but... Doesn't seem to be the end of the world for Yanni. Ooh, and he's just drive-bying. Robert. Since... Well, SA is not required or anything. You can just very easily do that. No need for isolations or anything. Just punch the researcher right in the face. Stole his clothes and is gonna make his way over to, I assume, the pit stop now. Uh, while struggling with doors, it seems. Some of these doors are locked. Uh, Yanni will have a bit of trouble now because he is suspicious. Oh, it's just suspicious. Oh, now he's hunted. Okay, that's an issue. In the meantime, Observer had a long, long pow, a pow, uh, pause. Uh, and has replanted the Karoon pit now. Observer infiltrating the um, the pits uh, in a Kavunis guy has changed to a medic now. Yanni much shutting open this door with a loud pistol, which is a bit a bit tricky. Jan is getting, getting shot at a lot. He is in a bit of trouble here. After this loud mud shot, which is also I mean, not allowed in roulette. Jan, bit of trouble now. He's back in a security, but this run invalidated anyways. But, yeah, he will find out in a bit, I hope, that his mud shot that he just did is invalid for this. He'll have to restart his run. Five minutes and a bit of progress lost. Could be worse, could be better, I suppose. So Yanni gets the message and actually reads it that mud shots aren't allowed. He's, he's still on that same mud shotted run. I'm not sure if Observer realized he doesn't have to do SA for this. <laughs> While Yanni is just, yeah. There is no way to notify him on the website. You have to message him and ping him on Discord. Um, okay, Yanni changed his strategy now. He's trying to uh, end the race as a race marshal. While Observer just had 
another restart. He's still... Yeah. Observer starts off his run and immediately lockpicks this cabinet, grabbing the syringe, same as Yanni did, just not from the medic's disguise. Um, Yanni... <laughs> well, if his run was legitimate, he'd still be in a bit of trouble. He's in combat in this disguise. Um, and... Apparently needs to do the pit stop actually because the. Um, you, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Garrett's coming in. Everyone on oh. now. God, sorry. The the race marshal disqualification finish didn't work for him, or doesn't. Maybe he sees his message now. Looks like he's too focused. In the match, however. Forty-seven. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. It will be very frustrating for Yanini in a bit here. Ooh, that is a naked engineer who wants his clothes back. Oh, no GRB for Yanni. Injection. And he's on his way to the exit, but sadly that mud shot earlier is gonna cost him his run here. Which does give Observer a bit of time to catch back up. He's made his way to um, the Kronstadt building now. Press done, but I think maybe now. And yeah, he realized now. And as a restarting. Attention, the Aeronox. Your vitamin and rehydration session has been delayed. More information will follow. This run has been rejected, and Yanni is going again. With, well, now a significant disadvantage. But, um, nothing impossible so far. These players need to summarize the game mode we're playing right now. These players are both given the kill conditions we see at the bottom of our screen. Sierra Knox eliminated using injected poison as Kronstadt researcher and Robert Knox explosive weapon as Kronstadt security. Their mission is to um, eliminate both these targets with these two conditions while playing on master difficulty without instinct and without loadout and the first one to well complete these conditions and exit the mission with any rating is um wins the round and he going again grabbing the car bomb very close. Okay, he is spotted by some security officers. However, because it is uh, improper roulette, there is no shame in getting those guns red. Says Observer. Observer is hunted right now. We've seen this <laughs> from Yanni a couple minutes ago being hunted in the researcher disguise. Observer has the first kill on Robert Knox's plus of weapon as Kronstadt security down already, however. Just needs Sierra gonna go and grab the sugar for the... to end the race in the garage like he used to. Yanni. Yeah, 
Yanni. Carrying a couple people around here and, uh, well, just grabbing their clothes, clothes to drive by Robert, pretty much. There it is. Sent him flying. Stealing researcher clothes. Actually didn't get spotted, so he isn't even compromised or anything. He just has to get out without being spotted. Now, Observer, on the other hand, though, he is inside this uh, garage. He has distracted a mechanic. The mechanic is in need of disguise for the sugar isolation. Oh, Yanni again tries the um, disqualification, though. Needs to wait a bit. Meanwhile, Observer starting the cutscene. Both basically getting Sierra off the track at the same time. Yanni just a touch behind because, well, Observer will be right there with her. As soon as she gets out of that car, Yanni still has to run around the map a bit. This could lead to another photo finish. Or... Um, well, if Observer screws up now, or Yanni screws up now, obviously, it could lead to either victory here. Because I assume after the kill, both players will go for the uh, medic exit. Yanni, syringe in hand, just needs to get back there. Observer, getting the poke done after the peekaboo. Sierra just gonna do it in entire public here. Hope he doesn't get a frontal KO. Which could be an issue for him here. All right, sir, let's go. You did this to yourself. There's the injection for Yanni as well. Observer. Searching for a medic disguise. Finally found one because the free one was already taken. Yanni died. Can't exit. And that will be what seals the deal. Observer will win this round as he just has exited with the Yanni just dying. No. Uh, no opportunity for another photo finish. And it will be a 3 to 1 score after Yanni basically already won, but didn't remember the no much shots rule. And therefore, um, yeah, ha had his run rejected, had to go again. Uh, and Observer will come out victorious and will move on to. Uh, in the brackets, let's see if those are updated already. They are indeed. The observer has taken down Yanni three to one, and will face off against the winner of Medi Spice and Jerky J, which is scheduled uh, for actually right now, as we can see on the upcoming matches. Uh, Medi Spice and Jerky J are playing right now. Um, casted by Crudy, so I will raid him now. They think are on their first map, still lock out a bingo. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Join the Discord, providence.community slash Discord, uh, if you are interested in further events. But for now, Enjoy the next Hitman Gauntlet match between Maddie Spice and Joker J.